In this lesson, we're going to discuss geometric mean. When we say geometric mean or means are terms between two terms of a geometric sequence. So, pag sinabi natin geometric mean, pwedeng isa or dalawa or mas marami pang number na makikita sa pagitan ng dalawang number sa isang geometric sequence. The first and last term of a finite geometric sequence are called extremes. So, yung unahan at saka dulo, that is the extremes. Example, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Yung 2 at saka 32 are what we call extremes. Yung 4, 8, saka 16, yan yung geometric means ng given sequence. Kasi nasa pagitan sila ng 2 at saka 32. So, dito meron tayong first geometric mean, second geometric mean, at saka third geometric mean. Another example is 2, 8, 32. So, pansinin, tatlong number lang ang given dito sa finite sequence na to. So, automatic yung nasa gitna, this is the geometric mean between 2 and 32. If a single geometric mean is inserted between two numbers, it is also called mean proportional of the numbers. If B is the geometric mean between A and D, then ABD form a geometric sequence. If ABD is a geometric sequence, automatically B is the geometric mean or the mean proportional between A and D. So, pwede nating ma-solve yung value ng B kapag kakinuha natin yung product nung A and D and then we need to get the square root. So, kapag ang B ang geometric mean between A and D, i-multiply lang ang A and D and then get the square root to get the mean proportional. Or, sa madaling sabi, ang formula sa geometric mean, kapag isa lang ang i-insert sa pagitan ng dalawang number ay square root of A and D, or yung dalawang extremes nung ating sequence. Let's have the first example. Find the geometric mean between 4 and 16. So, geometric mean sa gitna lang ng 4 at saka 16. So, ibig sabihin, isa lang yung i-insert natin between 4 and 16. We can now use the geometric mean is equal to square root of A times B. A is 4 and B is 16. Imumultiply lang natin tong dalawa para ma-solve natin ang product and then kunin ang square root. So, substitute lang 4 times 16 is equal to 64 and we need to get the square root of 64 or mag-iisip tayo ng isang number na kapag minultiply niya sa sarili niya, ang sagot ay 64. So, ano yung number na yun? That is 8. It's either positive or negative 8. Kasi 8 times 8 ay 64 and also negative 8 times negative 8 is also 64. It means the geometric mean between 4 and 16 is positive or negative 8. Let's have the second example. Find the geometric mean between negative 3 and negative 27. So, since isang geometric mean lang ang hahanapin, ang formula natin ay square root of A times B. Kunin lang ang product ng dalawang term and then ang, ang square root ng sagot. So, multiply lang natin negative 3 times negative 27. That is equal to positive 81 since we have two negatives. It means ang answer ay positive. And ano nga ba yung number na kapag minultiply mo sa sarili niya, ang sagot ay 81. Yes, that is 9. It's either positive or negative 9. Kasi negative 9 times negative 9 is 81 or 9 times 9 is also 81. Let's have the third example. 
find the geometric mean between 16xy and 81xy raised to 5. So, meron ulit tayong dalawang number na given. Ang gagamitin ulit natin is square root of a times b. So, i-multiply muna natin yung dalawang given. Multiply yung 16xy at saka 81xy raised to 5. So, remember, kapag ka nagmumultiply tayo ng variables, iya-add lang natin yung exponent nung may the same basis. So, una, multiply muna natin yung constant, yung 16 at saka 81. And then, multiply yung variable, yung x times x, add mo lang yung exponent nila. So, pagkaganyang walang nakasulat na exponent, ibig sabihin, automatic may 1 siya na exponent. Same with y dito, isa lang din exponent niya. So, y times y raised to 5, ia-add mo, mo lang rin yung exponent niya. So, ang magiging answer natin ay 1,296x squared y raised to 6. Kasi pag minultiply ang 16 and 81, that is 1,296. And then, x times x, magiging x squared since ang exponent nila both ay 1. And then, y times y raised to 5 ay y raised to 6 kasi i-add lang yung exponent nila na 1 at saka 5. And then, simplify natin to product na nakuha natin. Ano ang square root ng 1,296? Ang square root nito ay 36 ang kanyang square root. And then, ang square root ng x squared, i-divide lang natin yung exponent sa index Ang index natin kapag square root ay 2. So, i-divide lang natin yung index at saka exponent. 2 divided by 2, that is 1. Kaya, wala na tayong exponent dito. Sa y naman, yung square root ng y raised to 6 ay, i-divide lang natin yung exponent, 6 divided by 2, that is 3. So, ang ating square root sa y raised to 6 ay y cubed. And since that is a square root, ang magiging answer natin, it's either positive or negative. So, ang final answer or ang geometric mean between 16xy and 81xy raised to 5 ay positive or negative 36xy cube. Let's have the fourth example. Insert four geometric means between 972 and 4. So, ibig sabihin, apat na number ang nawawala sa pagitan ng 972 and 4. So, kapag ilalist down natin, ito ang magiging sequence. 972, blank, 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 at saka 4. So, sa madaling sabi, yung 972 is our first term at ang 4 natin ang ating 6th term or yung a sub 6. So, since magkalayo sila, hindi natin pwede agad i-divide yung 4 sa 972. Kaya gagamit tayo ng isa pang formula which is n minus k root of a sub n over a sub k. So, ano nga ba yung a sub n at saka a sub k? Yung a sub n natin, siya yung number na huling binanggit dun sa sequence which is 4. Tapos, yung a sub k, siya yung unang number dun sa sequence natin. So, that is 972. And since yung 972 is the first term, ang value ng k natin ay 1, tapos ang value ng n natin ay 6 kasi pang 6 term yung 4. So, substitute lang tayo, that is 6 minus 1 root of 4 over 972. So, simplify yung 6 minus 1, magiging 5. So, kunin natin ang fifth root ngayon nung given sequence. So, paano nakuha yung 1 over 243? Yung 4 over 972 ay sinimplify natin or ni lowest term gamit ang greatest common factor na 4. So, 4 divided by 4 is 1. 972 divided by 4 ay 243. And then, para mas mabilis kumuha ng fifth root, gawin nating exponential form ang 243. So, ang exponential form ng 243 ay 3 raised to 5. So, kapag minultiply daw natin yung 3 ng 5 times sa sarili niya, 
ang magiging answer ay 243. So, pag naka-exponential form na siya, mas mabilis na tayo mag-solve ng uh, nth root. Kasi, i-divide lang natin yung exponent dun sa ating index. So, 5 divided by 5 is 1. Yung 1 naman dito, automatically, kapag kinuha mo yung kanyang fifth root, ang answer lang din naman ay 1. It means, ang fifth root ng 1 over 3 raised to 5 ay 1 third. And then, dahil add number siya, positive lang yung magiging answer natin. Pero pag even number ang index, magiging positive and negative, one third siya. Since nakuha na natin ang sequence or ang common ratio natin kanina dun sa sequence, which is one third, we can now solve for the first geometric mean, second geometric mean, third geometric mean, at saka fourth geometric mean by means of multiplying it by one-third. Start tayo dun sa second geometric mean. I-multiply natin ngayon yung 972 sa one-third. So, parang dinivide mo lang yung 972 sa 3. Kasi 972 times 1 is 972 divided by 3 is equal to 324. So, ang ating first geometric mean o ang second term natin ay 324. To get naman the second geometric mean, yung 324 naman ang ita times natin sa 1 third. So, 324 times 1 third is 108. So, same process kanina, parang dinivide lang natin tong dalawa. 324 divided by 3 is 108. And 108 is our second geometric mean or ang ating third term. And then, para makuha yung third geometric mean, yung 108 naman ang ita times natin sa 1 third. So, that is equal to 36. So, 36 ngayon ang ating third geometric mean or ang ating fourth term. And lastly, para makuha ang fourth geometric mean, 36 naman ang ita times natin sa 1 third which is equal to 12. And 12 naman yung ating fourth geometric mean o yung ating fifth term of the sequence. Let's have our fifth example. Insert three geometric means between 5 and 3,125. So, kung isusulat natin ang sequence ay 5, tapos meron tayong tatlong blank na hahanapin or tatlong number na hahanapin and then 3,125. So, since magkalayo ulit yung term natin, Para makuha natin yung ating common ratio, we're going to use nth root or n minus k root of a sub n over a sub k. So again, para makuha natin ang value ng a sub k, yan yung unang term na binanggit dun sa sequence, which is 5. And then, yung a sub n naman, siya yung last term na binanggit dun sa sequence, which is 3,125. And then, ang value ng k, dahil first term ang 5, ang k natin ay magiging 1. Tapos, yung value ng n, since 3,125 ay pang limang term dito sa sequence na to, ang n natin is equal to 5. So, substitute lang natin magiging 5 minus 1 root of 3,125 over 5. And then, simplify lang natin muna itong nasa loob by means of uh, division, kasi they are both divisible by 5 naman, or by using the greatest factor, greatest common factor na 5, magiging 625 kasi 3125 divided by 5 is 625 and then 5 minus 1 is 4 so ibig sabihin we need to find the fourth root of 625 so para mas mabilis mag-solve gawin nating exponential form ang 625 ang 625 ay magiging 5 raised to 4 Kasi pag minultiply mo ang 5 ng apat na beses sa sarili niya, ang magiging sagot ay 625. And then to get the fourth root of 5 raised to 4, ikakancel na lang natin to Or i-divide mo lang yung exponent sa index natin. So 4 divided by 4, that is equal to 
1. It means 5 na lang yung matitira. Pwede na nating ilabas yung 5. Pero, ang magiging final answer natin, it's either positive or negative since ang ating index ay even number. So, dalawa yung magiging common ratio natin. It's either 5 or negative 5. So, this time, pwede na natin kunin yung mga geometric means na dapat nating mahanap. Simulan natin sa paggamit ng unang common ratio na 5. So, etong 5 na to ang multiply natin sa first term na 5 para makuha yung ating second term o yung first geometric mean natin. So, 5 times 5 is 25. 25 ang ating second term or ang ating first geometric mean. Sunod, yung 25 ulit, ita times ulit natin sa 5. That is equal to 125. 125 will be our second geometric sequence. Uh, mean at ang ating third term or ang ating third term. Sunod, 125 times 5 ulit ay 625. Ito na ngayon ang ating third geometric mean, yung 625 or yung apat, yung pang-apat na term natin. Etong 25, 125 at saka 625 ang possible geometric means between 5 and 3,125 kapag ang common ratio natin ay 5. Next naman ay kapag ka ang common ratio natin ay negative 5. Kunin naman natin yung possible 3 geometric means na pwede natin i-insert by multiplying negative 5 dun sa ating first term na 5. So, 5 times negative 5, that is equal to negative 25. Negative 25 is our first geometric mean or ang ating second term. Then next, negative 25, ita times ulit natin siya sa negative 5, that is equal to 125. Positive na siya since we have 2 negatives. So, or parehas yung sign, kaya magpa-positive na yung answer. So, ang ating second geometric mean or ang ating third term ay 125. And then, 125 times negative 5 ulit para makuha natin ang third geometric mean which is negative 625 or ang ating fourth term dito sa sequence natin na to. So, ang possible 3 geometric means kapag ang common ratio ay negative 5 ay negative 25, 125, and negative 625.